I hope you're having a wonderful week. This week, I was perusing Facebook and YouTube. <laughs> I know, I don't do that very often, but sometimes I do. And I saw someone ask me a direct question about angel numbers. Well, that person knew that Joy, me, and Adironda had written the book about numerology, double digitology, and they specifically wanted to know about angel numbers. So I took the question into meditation. Officially, some believe that angel numbers are messages sent from the angels that appear in multiples like 111, 222, 333, etc., etc. And yes, like my message last week when I talked about numerology, you could see how those numbers could indeed bring messages from your guides or your angels. But in my opinion, angel numbers can mean much more than just multiples of the same numbers. In Amazon, I counted 18 or more books that have the name angel numbers in their title. I mean, that's a lot of information. The first book I was introduced to was Doreen Virtue. Now, that is really kind of a collector's item right now because she's gone on a different path and is not doing metaphysical books any longer. I believe all numbers, like all events, all messages, are really angelic. So angel numbers are a part of the way God is getting in touch with you, or if you prefer, source is getting in touch with you. I mean, you know, sort of tapping you on the shoulder saying, Marilyn, we want to talk to you. <laughs> they don't really do that. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I remember when I started down this path, another channel, Shoshana Ortalia Rogers, who channeled Red Feather, told me that I really got her attention when I gave her my business card, which had the phone number 417-724-2474. <laughs> no, that's not my number any longer. Don't call that. The people get very irritated when you call it and ask for Marilyn. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a code from Red Feather for Shoshana. I mean, the being that she channeled. And she knew she must pay attention to the source of those numbers, 724 or 2474. So do you have significant numbers showing up in your life? I know I certainly have. I mean, for ages, I woke up every morning at 2.47 a.m. I mean, <laughs> I might have gotten up or woke up before then, but I looked at the clock at 2.47 a.m. And when I realized that it was a pattern, I really didn't want to be awake in the middle of the night anymore. So I asked what it meant. I remembered Brenda McCoy. I mentioned her last week. Uh, and her saying, well, did you ask? So I did. 247 adds up to a 13. 2 plus 4 plus 7 equals 13. 1 plus 3 equals 4. Structure. So I start looking at my life. I started looking at my life, seeing where my life needed more structure. And when I put that message of creating structure in my life into action, I stopped waking up at 2.47 a.m. That's what is meant to me by the angel numbers. For some reason, God, source, spirit, <laughs> angels, they don't tap you on the shoulder and verbally send you a message. I wish they did. Instead, they give you hints and let you figure it out for yourself. That's also what Adironda does. They say when you arrive at the answer yourself, then that answer is stronger in your energy field if someone says to you, well, this means blah, blah, blah. Most anything that gets your attention, like numbers or animals or even other people, are messages from the angelic realm. <laughs> if you doubt the message, ask for confirmation and ask for that confirmation to happen within 24 hours. Surprisingly, you will get get it if that is what is in store for you. Think about that. Namaste, y'all. Namaste.